The peace of the Lord be with you all. Welcome to this precious moment of unity and reflection here at Our Faith Journey. No matter where you are or what you're going through, remember, you're not alone. Settle in, open your hearts, and let's absorb the gracious message that'll be shared today. Indeed, my dear listeners, I'm here too, standing alongside you in prayer and thoughtful reflection. Together, in the comfort of God's love, we will seek understanding and wisdom in His Word. Today's episode is a powerful call to those experiencing the tough trials of insomnia. As we delve into this evening's prayer, we're reaching out for heavenly peace and tranquility so that you can rest, awaken refreshed, and serve effectively with renewed hope and energy. Let's dedicate this midnight prayer to these courageous souls who, despite their restlessness, continue to strive each day. Let's pray together. Welcome the peace of the Lord, my dear listeners. Tonight, allow me to introduce you to a powerful shield, a shield against adversities, a beacon of hope and resilience. That shield is known as the Psalm 103. In our journey of life, we encounter numerous battles, some visible and many invisible. And amidst this spiritual warfare, we all need a shield that transcends human comprehension. Psalm 103 is like a stronghold for those who put their trust in the Lord. It's a spiritual armor that doesn't only provide security, but also grants incredible strength. Within these divine words, we acknowledge that even in times of harsh adversities, we are not abandoned. There's a force beyond our understanding that holds us, sustaining and guiding our journey. But perhaps what's most inspiring about Psalm 103 is its promise of salvation. This verse serves as a reminder that our spiritual battle is already victorious in the eyes of the Lord. So my faithful listeners, embrace the Psalm 103. Let it serve as your shield and find solace in the promise it holds. Amen, my dear Bishop. May Psalm 103 inspire, protect, and provide comfort to our hearts. Now let's come together to pray. My dear listeners, share with us those who hold a special place in your heart. Please feel free to leave the names of your family members, friends, or anyone you'd like us to pray for in the comments. Together, as a united spiritual family, we will lift these names up to the Lord in our prayers. And remember, if the content presented here soothes your soul, if it resonates with your moments of solitude, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. We're growing here as a large prayer family, and we would love for you to be a part of it. Each one of you brings a unique prayer, a unique light, and together we shine brighter. May God bless you abundantly. Yes, dear Bishop, we value each and every prayer shared. So let's make this space a sanctuary of love, unity, and shared blessings. Amen. In the spirit of reverence, I invite our dear pastor Elias to read for us the Psalm 103, a wellspring of hope and resilience. I am honored, Bishop. As we embark on this sacred reading, I encourage you all, our dear listeners, to actively participate in this moment of prayer. Whether you choose to echo the words out loud or silently in your hearts, engage in prayer with me, claiming all the promise contained in the Psalm 103. Let's begin. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. His good provides nourishment, renewing your strength like that of an eagle. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. The merciful and gracious Lord, slow to anger and full of mercy, will not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever. He hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pities his children, so the Lord pities them that fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust, Man's days are like grass, like a flower of the field, so he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place there shall know it no more. 
but the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him and his righteousness unto children's children, to such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels, that excel in strength, that do his commandments, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers of his, that do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Mm. Amen. How comforting and invigorating it is to hear these divine words. There's something remarkable about Psalm 103 that strikes a chord within the deepest corners of our hearts. Whenever I read this prayer, I'm filled with immense joy and a feeling of warmth. Such is the power that emanates from God's words. It strengthens us and instills a renewed sense of hope as we begin a new day. Let these words anchor your soul as we continue our journey. My dear listeners, as we share in the divine wisdom embedded within the scriptures, I'd like to leave you with a special direction. I urge you to revisit this prayer every day before you call it a night for the entire week. Let the words of Psalm 103 become your nightly lullaby. Its promises, the assurances it provides, will prove to be a rich blessing in your life. Immerse yourself in its divine wisdom so it can heal, comfort, and guide you. God be with you. If I may, I want to emphasize the significance of your commitment to this week's challenge. Listening to this prayer for seven consecutive days will make a powerful impact on your life. Seven, it's not just a number, it's God's number. It represents perfection, completion. As you immerse yourself in the words of Psalm 103 each night for seven nights, you're inviting God's perfect love and mercy into your life. But remember, it's not just about the repetition, it's about truly reflecting on the profound wisdom it holds. Let your soul resonate with its divine rhythm. As we conclude, it's important to remind each one of you that all the divine blessings, all the profound promises of deliverance and peace contained in Psalm 103 are now upon you. They're in your home, flowing into the lives of your loved ones. May your hearts be receptive to these spiritual gifts. May God's abundant blessings, the blessings that breathe life into every word of Psalm 103, cover you and your family. May they manifest in your life like the morning sun, clear, bright, and full of hope. God bless you abundantly. The blessings you've received tonight shouldn't just end with you. I implore you to share this prayer with your family, your friends. Consider how many among them are in desperate need of the blessings contained in Psalm 103. Don't hesitate to share God's love. Let's say you share this prayer with 10 people. You can have faith that at least one of them will feel God's touch, that they will turn towards his holy word, and the others, oh, the others, their lives will be transformed. Blessings will pour out upon them like a refreshing shower. You can play a part in this divine work. Share the prayer, share the blessings, turn the ripple into a wave. As we close this enriching experience of meditation, let me extend to you the deepest blessings. Take hold of abundant love and divine peace and let it envelop you during your nighttime or daytime activities. From the depths of my spiritual heart to yours, farewell and God bless. And I echo those sentiments, dear listeners. As we wrap up for today on Faith Journey, let me take a moment to encourage you one last time to subscribe to our podcast. You wouldn't want to miss these powerful midnight prayers, these spiritual treasure troves. Have a blessed night, and until the next prayer, may God's will be done in your life. Yes, dear listeners, whether you're struggling with sleep or getting ready to dive into a night of study, work, or maybe keeping a prayer vigil, please know that you are not alone. The comforting presence of our Lord is with you. You are blessed tonight. May your vigil, your work, your studies be productive, and may those seeking rest find a peaceful slumber under the Lord's caring watch. Remember, he rewards the diligent and the faithful. May God richly bless you tonight and every night to come. Good night, dear listeners.